What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest in Trade with Jack. We're gonna go over Phantom, guys. It's continuing to pump. Uh, we're sitting at two dollars thirty cents. We're up eleven percent on the day. We're up like seventy percent um, from the low. Uh, we're sitting at market cap of five point eight one billion. Twenty four hour volume one point zero two billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to Crypto.com, sign up to the world's fastest crypto growing app. You can grab one of the incredible Visa cards for cash back in crypto, free Spotify, Netflix Prime travel incentives. Depending on the level of card that you have, let's jump into Phantom on the four hour. So we just saw a tiny bit of pullback before breaking out once again. Um, this pattern is called a bull flag. The flagpole is massive. <laughs> um, you can see here what you would do is you measure your flagpole and then you take it to your point of breakout and it could take Phantom all the way up to our tick profit zone at 297. However, guys, we are seeing some bearish divergences on the four hour as well as on the money flow. Price is continuing to push up while money is flowing out as well as the relative strength is decreasing. Now, I want to give you guys an example here of Phantom on its pump. So we'll go back right here to this pump. So you can see Phantom was doing the exact same thing. It's just a beast when it pumps. It pumps up just a little bit of sell off and you stay overbought. Pumps up, a little bit of sell-off, pump, a little bit of sell-off, pump, and then a little bit of sell-off, and then you go through a larger correction. So that kind of looks like what we're seeing once again with our pump here for Phantom is we're just pumping and then a tiny bit of sell-off and then continuation. But the correction will come eventually, guys. I have moved my first buy zone up here at 197. Now people in my Discord are saying, Jax, can I get into Phantom right now? People always message me in my comments when it's pump, 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 pump. Should I buy now? Should I buy now? No. Personally, in my opinion, no, guys. You should buy here where our entry was at 136. Everyone's afraid to buy at these levels. Fear, fear, fear. You know what the whales are doing? They're buying. The smart traders, they're dollar cost averaging. The smart investors, they're buying. They're dollar cost averaging because they're ready for the pump back to the upside. All the noobs, all the brand new traders, sorry guys, but that's all you guys that are buying during the pump. And the whales take advantage of that. They let you buy, buy, buy. They let you push up the price and then boom, they all sell and you see something like this where you see a flash crash or you see a large amount of sell-off really, really quickly. And if you're not dollar cost averaging, you're just buying the pump. Well, you just absolutely get wrecked, right? So I'm still in my trade from 136. I'll throw it up on the screen. That's why I put entry. That was our entry here at 136. We're up over 60% on the trade that's why i always wait for the pullback i always let it come back down to my buy zone i'll close the rest of my trade and i'll re-enter again at 197 if it keeps pumping i still have money in my trade i'm still making profits my buy zones are moving up and then when it comes back down to my buy zone lock in the rest of those profits re-enter my trade so i'm always in the trade guys but I never recommend, of course, not financial advice. Do whatever you want to do. I've learned the lesson when I first started trading of buying overbought levels of buying into pumps and just getting absolutely wrecked by a correction. <laughs> so that's why I always wait for a pullback and dollar cost average into my trade. So our buy zones, 197, 172, 152, 136, 115. Equal amounts at each buy zone as a spot trader. Bring your average price down halfway each time. Double your margin if you're a leveraged trader and you get ready to ride the slingshot back up. On With spot trading, it's a no fail strategy. If you're leveraged trading two to three X and trade at your own risk. All right, guys, so we've reached our take profit zone at 233. Of course, taking profits is optional, completely up to you. I'm just here to show you what I'm seeing. So we're seeing that bearish divergence on the four hour, on the RSI as well as on the money flow. If we pop over to the one hour time frame. We have a bearish divergence as well. Let me pull this down. So you can see here we created a high, created a higher high, lower high on the one hour, as well as on the money flow as well. So a couple of charts I want to show you guys here. So we've broken out of our descending broadening wedge. It's a bullish reversal pattern. Your target's all the way up at the top of the wedge, coming in at 369. Went through our ABC correction, and it looks like we may see our next impulsive wave. If we come up and we break this high, then we can invalidate that head and shoulders pattern. Do watch 294, which is the 1.618, could act as resistance as well. 
So I'm gonna pop over to the daily time frame. So we have broken down from this ascending triangle. Sorry guys, this ascending channel, we wicked right down to our target of 96 cents. We went a little bit lower. We consolidated and we broke out. So this is where you buy guys. This is when you start loading up, when you start dollar cost averaging, all the whales, all the intelligent investors and traders, they're buying right here. We're not buying here, here we're selling, here we're buying, here we're selling. <laughs> all right guys, so you can see we've pushed right back above the EMAs, which is a really, really bullish shine. I mean, Phantom, the strength is just absolutely incredible. One of the top movers. We came right down to oversold. I said, guys, look, we're down and oversold once again. The last time we were this oversold, massive pump to the upside. So this was an optimal entry point. I said, guys, this is when all the smart traders, whales and investors are buying, buying, buying. All right, guys. So we're back above the EMA. So if we hold the 1.4 and 4 coming in at 207 as support and we hold the EMAs, we come up and break this high. Then we're good to go for continuation up to our next targets. And our target for our next impulsive wave, you go from the previous all-time high down to your swing low, and you target the 1.618, which is coming in at about $8.25 for FTM. All right, guys, I'll give you our bull run targets. We have the two extension at 592, but I definitely see Phantom reaching 993. Honestly, if Bitcoin's gonna go to 100, 150K, I think Phantom could easily break 993 and head up to 1854, which is a 2.618 extension. I mean, just look at the bullish strength, guys, and, and Bitcoin is currently consolidating. If we look at Bitcoin, sorry guys, that's a Bitcoin dominance, that's the long positions. Bitcoin has been consolidating for a few days now on a downward slant, and Phantom is absolutely flying, guys. So that tells you the strength, the bullish momentum, the interest in this coin. Um, I, we've been trading Phantom since down here. We traded this whole pump. We absolutely crushed it. And now we're getting that opportunity once again. All right, guys. So always wait for the pullback, in my opinion, if you want a dollar cost average. It may not come back down to 197. You might see the exact same thing. You just see a little bit of consolidation, possibly see another bull flag or a bull pennant and continue to break out to the upside. Um, but we have been going through Phantom down here. We were making trades. We got in at 136. So we're just absolutely crushing it. We come back down to 197, we lock in the rest of those profits and we re-enter our trade. So we're always in the trade. At all times, we're in the trade. Incredible strategy, guys. If you want early access to these charts, join the Discord. Whoa, over 1,000 members posting chart patterns as well as the DCA charts posted daily, guys. I may not make a phantom video every day, but the chart will be here as long with along with many other coins. And we have over 1,000 members talking all things crypto. Price of a coffee, you can sign up through the Patreon. All right, much love, take care.